Hi guys, welcome back to the second part of our modular music tutorial, beginners tutorial, whatever, I'm the Cliff Factor. And today I want to talk about sample and hold, trigger, gate, and maybe a few other things. You may ask why does this guy talk about sample and hold? It's a beginner's tutorial, you should talk about VCO, VCA, VCF, ADSR, maybe sequencers, whatever. The thing I want to show you is that even in a modular system, there's not one way to do something. There are always different ways, several ways, and you have to try, you have to play with this. That's one important thing. If you have a real system, you will always be limited. So um, you won't have this, uh, you watch a manual and you won't have this module. So maybe there's another way. Same here in the software. We don't, we have only these sequencers, but we don't have a real clock. We don't have a clock divider. That's something that I would use for what I'm showing you now. But there are mostly not always workarounds. And this is very important to be creative, to search your own way or to try different things. In the first manual, we had this little patch. It sounded like this. Okay. So we used the first sequ sequencer for the frequency of the VCO and these two sequencers to modulate um, the frequency and the resonance of this filter. And here we set seven steps over these eight, and here I thought it was five or the six steps, so you have a repetition of six steps and seven here. That is not that boring, okay? And today we will do something similar but different. Okay, so let's kick these cables out and put these two sequences in sync with the first one. Okay, this is done. This is done, okay. Our problem is, um, what we want is to have one trigger on every single step, like a little shot, a little signal that uh, will control something else. Now these sequencers, and this is the only one in the software, um, are gate sequencers. So when, when I set a step here, this is the output, um, the length of this gate will be exact, exactly 100%. So if I put all together, all the eight steps, you see you have 100%. This is like one long gate. This is not useful for us. Okay, but we can do the following thing. We use the first sequencer with the, I think it's called art, and the second sequencer for the even triggers. Now, when we um, match these two outputs together, we will have the same shit. So we have to do something. And what we will do, we will use two ADSR envelope generators, one, two, and connect the first one with this gate and the second one with this gate and bring the controls all the way down. That should give us a little impulse, a little signal. Oh, he's gone. Okay, we'll come back. Here we go. Now we should have what we, what we need, more or less. Um, next, put those together. We don't need a mixer, we just do this very straightforward with a multiple. And we will use a VCA, I don't know if we will really need it, to control the power, yeah, the volume, the amplitude of this. And go from this multiple, this only, the multiple only adds together these two outputs from the ADSR, okay? Um, hopefully I'm not too quick with this. And now here on the output we should have a, like a little signal um, that goes on every step, okay? And let's try to listen to this. Okay, here we go. Mm. It's 
still a little bit scary. Oh yeah, we have to put uh, set these steps back to eight, and now synchronize this stuff again once. Okay, now we got it. Okay, this is not very interesting. The next module we will use to control again this frequency and this resonance of this filter is called sample and hold. Now you don't find the sample and hold module here, but there's this little one, audible instruments utilities. And there is your sample and hold. Okay, here, this part. What the sample and hold does, it takes a voltage here on the input and a trigger. And in the moment when the when there's a trigger, yeah, like a little signal, you can use a gate as well. Um, this voltage here is stored and brought to the output. And this output you can use to modulate other things, okay? That's easy. So now we use this output as a trigger. Okay, you see, this is flashing a little bit here. And let's use the sine wave of the of our VCO as an input. And now this output should give us the possibility to control the frequency of this filter. Okay, let's bring this down and let's listen to our sequence. Okay, here we got a sequence, and now let's see. Okay, here we go. Okay, this is nice. Now, if, if we set longer the release here, Okay, that's groovy. Now we do the same thing. Uh, we'll add another um, whatever utilities. And where's our trigger? This is our trigger, I think. Is this one to have multiples here? Yeah, we put this to the multiples there because we want the same trigger here. And now let, let's use the noise output of this there. That's the same thing. And this output we will use to control the resonance. But let's add. Yeah, it's, it's maybe maybe too strong. Okay, so we use another. Um, little module, where is it? Um, I'm lost, I'm lost, guys. This attenuator, okay? Take the input of this, and what the attenuator does, okay, let's zoom in. Um, you have an input here, this is the voltage, okay? And now the output will be at zero, there's nothing. If you put it all the way up 100% you have the full output okay but you can make it a little bit smaller yeah you, you can control the output how strong it is or you can make it negative as well and control this as well and you can put an offset as if you want okay so that's easy let's go back and put this to resonance did it go there? I'm sure. Okay, now let's give it a little bit of power. Ah, here we go.
Yeah, uh, that's it. Here we go. And only to say, um, these voltages that come out here, they are positive and negative. So when you put the frequency, for instance, here, you will get some very low frequencies. So you have to play around with this until it does what you want, until it sounds how you like it, okay? Okay, that's it. That was the second part of our um, modular music tutorial. Yeah, it's, it's enough. I don't want to listen anymore to this. Um, you can download the patch in the description below and hopefully you liked it and it was useful for you we will see what we do next time have fun keep interested keep knobbing and yeah so on i'm the cliffhacker see you later